Hey everybody, Sarasota Tim, inside of a Braxton Creek hard-sided tent. It's a small little 10-foot trailer. It's got a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Big wide door there, some LED lights. One overhead. There is a... Hey, how you doing? Anyway guys, this is the little Bushwhacker 10-footer. The basic entry-level um, little camper. It's a hard-sided tent is what it is. It's basically just somewhere to lay down. It's got an air conditioner in it and a little stereo. And there is a galley in the back. It's made by Braxton Creek. And they sold a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them on YouTube. It's got a little galley back here. You open this up. There's a two burner stove and a little sink. It holds some water, 24 gallons, has a pump. And that is it. And that's an air conditioner. A uh, little 5,000 uh, BTU. Uh, they have put an awning on this one and a kayak rack. Uh, the tires should be replaced. They're good tread, but they're original tires. I wouldn't trust them. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. There's some LED lights, a, a fantastic fan. That's what I call them. And uh, it's got a, a little box here that he added to the front and a 20-pound um, propane uh, tank. Uh, but um, got a little light on the outside. Uh, the stereo system is okay. And it's basically just to a very lightweight teardrop aerodynamic unit that you can pull with almost anything. And uh, you have somewhere you don't have to pay for a $150 night room. And if you're out in the middle of somewhere and you're traveling and there's no hotels in the area, you can just go inside and you're safe. And it has a furnace, it has an air conditioner, and uh, you can sleep comfortably and then be on your way. And uh, we'll get some more on it uh, in a minute. We're contemplating it and we'll see what happens. All right, so you saw the quick little clip there of the uh, bushwhacker, and I'm now back in Delray Beach. Uh, got one hour before my eye doctor appointment to find out what the pressure is in my red eyeball, and uh, he's gonna wanna see me again, I think, in another week, so I'll have to come back down, but I won't be sleeping inside this truck I'll be in that bushwhacker. <laughs> I think we struck a deal. Um, I haven't given the money yet. I'm carrying the money. <laughs> so it's all but done. I got a, a lunch date today and a doctor's appointment this morning. And today's Valentine's. He's spending time with his wife. Tomorrow's the RV show. They're going to that. They got the bug for something bigger but not even as big as my Flagstaff, but they do not want that bushwhacker because they have to crawl over each other to get out to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. There's a lot of uh, cons. If you want to create some cons in all areas of that little thing, from the workmanship, I don't know so much about like the, the trailer itself, like for towing and the reliability and the wheels and the axle and and all that but the wood inside the little shelves it's just it, it's the thinnest most inexpensive stuff <laughs> you can imagine but nothing's broken and if you be gentle and take care of it and don't tear it up it'll stay like that but it's got a little galley in the back I can cook I can sleep it's got air conditioning and a furnace and propane holds 24 gallons of water. There is no gray tank. All water used is strictly sink water. It goes right out on the ground. Unless you're somewhere where they prohibit that, then you would need some kind of a tote or a five gallon bucket or whatever to take it and move it somewhere and, and dump it in a drain or something. But it's really something just to um, to have to lay down in that's safe and secure and lockable and has air conditioning and you don't have to worry about bugs and you don't have to build anything. Now, there is a huge enclosed canvas Florida room, I call it that, or an, there's an awning that comes out and then what attaches to it is this huge thing that has a floor in it too that you would put out you know, over grass and stuff. You wouldn't put it out over rocks 
or anything to, to get holes in the floor. But that way, when you come out of the camper, you can have a little bathroom in there. You can have table and chairs uh, to sit and be out of the rain. It's waterproof. And uh, that was included because they bought that. And it also has a kayak rack on the roof. I don't kayak, but if I want to buy one, I can throw a kayak up there. Maybe I will. Take a couple of fishing rods with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, nice guy that owns it. Retired uh, from the uh, fire department. And uh, they want to get something bigger. They like camping. They thought that this would work. It doesn't work. But it may work for me. It seems like it. I've contemplated all the, the cons and the pros and the, and the stuff about the workmanship. There's no shortage of... YouTube videos of this little camper uh, trailer, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube. It's just a matter of um, whether you want to deal with that, have that, and you can strike the right value in, in as far as price. Because you can get a room, you know, a lot of rooms for so much uh, when you travel, but there's not always rooms when you're in the middle of a national park or you're you know, somewhere out in the middle of uh, somewhere, <laughs> in between somewheres. So this is always like like a camper, like any RV. You've got a home with you. You've got a, a place you can go get in. You've got a place you can cook and um, uh, to do your business. You buy a little uh, portable um, potty. Probably the simplest one is not the cassette potty uh, that has something you have to clean out. Uh, there's a very, very simple one that I own. You use garbage bags, trash bags that go in it and it's a frame uh, with an actual toilet stool seat, toilet seat on it. And they gave me this private tent that uh, you can set it up inside that. And if there's not a, a bathhouse or somewhere, if you're not in a campground, it would be the only time you would need to do this. Uh, and you can use the restroom and then the bag you would dispose of. So that way you wouldn't have to, you know, have a cassette type thing. That you got to clean out and, you know, all that kind of mess. Plus it's heavier. And so I'm at the Bagels with Deli in Delray. Going to grab a little breakfast before my doctor appointment. And then I'm going to go crush it.